up? What is going on, my PlayStation gamers? It's that one dude, Shotgun6343, and I'm excited today because I got my hands on one of these things. PS4 DualShock 4 controller. You're like, hey, how did this guy get his hands on the PS4 DualShock controller? Because the content's not coming out until November 15th. Well, let me tell you something. Little Birdie told me on Twitter, thanks, Reality Pals, I'm talking to you, that these guys don't have a street date. PS4 accessories don't have a street date, so technically, if that place that you're shopping at has them, they can sell them to you. So, go to your local GameStop, go to your EB Games, even maybe check out Walmart. Went to a couple GameStops, by the way, an employee at Kyle GameStop, yeah, I'm talking to you, you know I'm talking to you, little girl, bad attitude, bad attitude. That's why people don't like GameStop, because of people like you. Why you gotta be so mean? Don't be mean, be nice, smile, put a smile on your face, douchebag. Anyway, douchebag, you call girls douchebags? Can girls, what are girls called? Douchebaggots. Douchebaggot. Would it be a douchebaggot? Anywho, DualShock 4 controller, $59.99. That's what these guys are going at. So go to your local GameStop, ask them if they do have it. Uh, it might not be in the system anymore because you can't technically pre-order these through GameStop anymore. Go to the website. You can actually already start buying them. So if you want to order yours, you can order it. But I would say, you know, save, save yourself a couple of business days. Get one of these. Open them up. Show your friends. Like, hey, look what I got. Ah, I'm cool. Show them that, and you'll be the coolest kid on the block. So I'm going to do an unboxing video, and we're going to see how this bad boy feels. I can get all nasty and dirty with it. I touched it before in the past. Now I get to fondle it in the privacy of my own home and do nasty things that you would not want to see on camera. So I say we go ahead and get started and open this bad boy up. So let me get my big knife out. Oh, ah, there it is. Woo! It's a doozy, man. Don't judge it by its size. They always make fun of it when they see it. But this thing, deadly. Don't do this at home, kids. So let's pop this bad boy open here. There we go. All right. Open this bad boy up. Oh. It smells like plastic. Gotta love it. So when you open this up, there's a lot of plastic. This is the terrible unboxing video because I don't have a table. I'm doing it in the midair. There it is. There she is, boys. But, of course, there's something underneath. Let's see what it is. Put it right here. All right, this is the instruction manual. As you just see, a big white piece of paper, instruction manual. So I say sit back and enjoy it. I'm going to read it front and back. So let's see, Sony PlayStation 4 DualShock 4 wireless controller in English. Here we go. We're also going to read it in French. Sit back. F that. What am I? <laughs> yeah, no, that's not happening. Okay, whoever reads that stuff. Here it is. Take out this thing. Who needs that? Here it is. Oh, man, there's a little buff already on it. Someone marked it. <gasps> oh, it has a mark on it. That's okay, though. I don't care. I already got one. This is it, boys and ladies and gentlemen. The DualShock 4 controller. The DualShock 4 controller. Take a look at it. I know you've seen all types of videos. I don't think it has any power on it. Let's press the button and see what happens. I think that means it doesn't have much power. <laughs> Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do with the DualShock 4 controller is plug it into the PC to see if the PC recognizes it as a usable controller that works on the PC. One quick side note, it does not come when you buy these DualShock 4 controllers separately, come with a USB charging cable that charges it and also hooks it up via USB. Those are going to be bundled when you buy the PS4. You're going to get one of those cables with the PS4. Another side note, the cables that charge the DualShock 3 controllers do not work on the DualShock 4. I got both in my hand right now, and I'm going to show you what they look like. Hopefully, you can get a better shot. The one on the left, obviously the bigger one, and my left, your right, doesn't matter, your left, my right. The bigger one is going to be the DualShock 3. The smaller one is going to be the DualShock 4. So let's go ahead, drop that one out of the way, and plug this in to the PC to see what happens. So we're going to plug that in there. And we're gonna plug back in into the PC. Plug it down here. Oh, I can't find the hole. That's what she said. No shit, really, I can't find the hole. Okay, so I just plugged in my DualShock 4 controller and it recognized it as a wireless controller. It's all it said. So it is working. There's actually an orange glowing light. I know I'm really small on the webcam. Let me make me a little bit bigger. Oh, hello kitty. Uh, orange glowing thing. Woo, it's glowing. So it is working. It's working. However, let me get back over here. Get back to the right screen. As you see my mouse, I'll move it into screen here so you can see it. There it is. It doesn't work. Nothing's working. I'm pressing every button known to man on this controller. Nothing's working. So I say let's open up a game and see if it actually works in a game. Maybe it's not working for a mouse, but we'll see a game. So we'll open up Portal 2, see if this works. Woo, Portal 2 is loaded up. 
see if the control works. Yeah, so you can see on the webcam down here on the bottom right of the screen, you can see it's one to one also on the hop hog as well. So here we go. Holy crap, it works. Wow. Okay, that's the analog so far. The analog seems to be working. See the right one? The right one shouldn't do it. Yeah, it doesn't do anything. Um, yeah, the D-pad works as well. So up and down, up and down seems to be working. Left and right shouldn't do anything. Okay, now let's try the top buttons. R1, nothing. L1, nothing. L2, nothing. R2, okay. R2 seems to pretend it wants to go down, but then comes back up when I let it go. Okay, let's see. X, triangle, circle, square. Holy crap, square is basically like X. There you go. Uh, before we press square again, uh, options, share, D-pad. Okay, nothing else works. So square seems to be square, R2, and the analog seem to be the only working buttons. So let's continue the game. Square is our accept button and see if it actually works. Holy crap. Oh, we are in a spinning vortex of doom. Let me make sure that's not the mouse. Nope, it's not the mouse. So let's see if the uh, controls work. Oh, R1 seems to be working. When I press R1, and it kind of brings them close to me. R2, the little crazy thing, basically like a start and unstart button. A start button, the spazzing button. L2, nothing, X, triangle, circle, square, nothing. So R1, uh, if we can move, you know what? We actually can move. So the spinning vortex is killing us right now. However, I can actually move. I can't stop spinning though. Okay, so it doesn't look like the DualShock 4 controller works right out the box when you plug it into the PC. It seems to recognize it as a controller, but it seems that there are some issues as you can clearly see. A couple updates maybe might be able to fix that. So this is a real possibility to start gaming with your DualShock 4 on your PC. That opens the door to a lot of people that are intimidated by the mouse and keyboard. So Sony, I'm looking at you. If you can fix this, spinning vortex of doom, I will love you so much. So let's try out, plug it into the PlayStation 3 and see how that fares. Okay guys, so this is gonna be test number two to see if the DualShock 4 works on the PS3. So I manually just turned on my PS3, none of the DualShock 3 controllers are on. So I said, let's go ahead and plug this in to see if the DualShock 4 works on the PS3. So plug this guy in here, see if it starts to glow and beautiful, glowing that beautiful burnt orange. Of course, if you're not familiar with the DualShock 4s, each color on the back is going to help indicate the player. So player 1 is going to be, well maybe in this case, going to be burnt orange. Player 2 might be red, player 3 might be blue, and so forth and so on. So let's see if this works. Just real quick, right off the get-go, you might notice something. I'm just assuming this is going to happen. If there seems to be a lag from when I'm moving the controller to what you're seeing, it's I'm recording with a Hophog HD PVR, so it's always a second a second delay. So I'm going to be looking with my own eyes at the TV to see if it's a one-to-one. -one. So let's try it out. Oh, it's beautiful. So you, once again, you might see a little lag from when I'm moving the analog stick to to when it's showing on the TV or, you know, in the background of what you're seeing. So it seems to be working fine for me. Everything looks one-to-one -one there. There's my gamer tag, by the way, Shaka6343. By the way, cheap pop here, extra life, play games, heal kids. Twitch TV, I'm going to be doing a 25-hour stream November 2nd. That's really, really soon. If you want to chill out, watch me play games for 25 hours, and maybe want to donate, I have the description and all that info in the bottom. So, Extra Life, really cool. Go look it up. Cool stuff there. So, I say let's play a game and see if the DualShock 4 controller works. So, let's find a game that we can do. Jet Set Radio, Tony Hawk. Uh, Tony Hawk, let's try Tony Hawk out. Okay, so we got Tony Hawk up and running now, so it says press the start button. As you notice on the DualShock 4, there are no start button. You got options, the trackpad, which is actually clickable, and the share button right over here. So we're going to press the touchpad and nothing happens. So let's try the option button, usually where the start would normally be, more or less, and that seems to work. So the options might be the new start button, just FYI, or at least when you're playing the PS3 you know, version of games. Okay, so all the loading stuff, blah, 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 loading, loading, loading. Probably gonna cut the video until I actually get on the skate park. So, hang with me one sec. So we're finally on the skate park. We're in the warehouse, and we're gonna see if the buttons work. So X is a jump, oh man, oh yeah, triangle. Grinding, ah oh, yeah, baby. Oh, as I fall and hurt myself. Okay, so analog, X is a jump. Triangles to do, to land on things I remember this game, if I remember right. 
Okay, let's. What does square do? We're gonna try out square. Let's see. Square does nothing unless. Oh, there it goes. Kick stuff as I keep falling. Tony Hawk, man, you're gonna lose. You're losing a lot of blood, bro. Circle. I don't know if circle. Wow, I didn't even do anything there. Okay, R2 makes me switch. My feet stance. R L R1. Not much. Probably should have picked the game that made use of every single button. <laughs> But you know what? It seems to be working just fine. Once again, if there is lag, it's just because the hot bug, you know, captures the, the gameplay one second later. So, but looking at the TV on my end, everything seems to be working. So there you go. So let's do another test real quick while we're at it. We're gonna unplug the cord to see if it still works. So everything's synced. Usually with the DualShock 3 controllers, once you plugged it into your PlayStation 3, it would sync with the PS3 and you can play it wirelessly uh, from there on out. So we're gonna see if that works with the DualShock 4 controller with the PS3. So let's go ahead and unplug it. Okay, we unplugged it there and it says reconnect controller. So we're gonna press this middle button I assume to connect it. It's thinking about it, it's thinking about it, thinking about it, thinking about it. Did it go? No, it didn't. Okay, there it is. So you got it there. It doesn't work when it's not plugged in even though this is going to be a bluetooth and it is going to work wirelessly obviously with your ps4 it's not going to be compatible wirelessly with your ps3 so i just dropped that cord let me see if i can grab it again and one quick thing that we're on the pause menu that i just thought of is see if we can quit the game because there doesn't seem let's try it out and see if it works okay so everything works resume game we're going to press the playstation button see if we can get to the cross media bar maybe it's the trackpad oh start options now that takes me back there that's basically the start button okay so there you go i just learned something you cannot exit out of a game when you're playing with the dualshock 4 controller so it looks like looks like you're gonna have to have a dualshock 3 controller in hand and you probably do so let's let me let me show you what i was trying to do here if you didn't know what i was trying to do so that's connected now as you see it's connected to number two player this is what i was trying to do trying to get to the cross media bar which I can then quit the game. So if I wanted to quit the game, that's how I would do it. So once again, as you clearly saw, this does not do it. So you can't quit games if you're playing the PS4. And that's gonna be good for me on my 25 hour stream if I decide to do that. I should play with a DualShock 4 controller. I cannot quit the game even if I wanted to. So there you go guys, there it is. You have it, the DualShock 4 controller. Tried it with the PC, tried it with the PS3. It's awesome guys, it feels great with my very sweaty hands. Uh, if you like what you saw guys, be sure to leave a comment, like the video, and if you want me to start uploading more videos, I should probably start doing that. I, I do a lot of Twitch TV, and once again, that's going to be in the description below. So y'all guys, take care. PS3 right around the corner. Go pre-order it if you haven't already, and I'll talk to y'all guys later. Take it easy.